course we had no idea. And, and in fact, it was not evident that either the web or that the internet was going to have the impact it, it, it's had. Don't uh, forget that there were lots of roadblocks moving from the Defense Advanced Projects Administration to just take the D off of that was a major legislative effort. Then, luckily, Al Gore was attracted to this and invented the internet that we know today. <laughs> and uh, y'all are laughing. I'm not laughing because I've been told that story. Serious. That's the truth. They that went the around truth is together. Al Gore conceived of a commercial and open internet at a time when nobody else believed it. And he laid the legislation to first take the D off of the defense uh, the DARPANET, DARPANET yeah. to make it ARPA, to move it from ARPA to the National Science Foundation and to move it out of the National Science Foundation to allow commercialization. At that time, there was a lot of competition. There was AOL, there was Genie, there was CompuServe, Prodigy. there was Prodigy. How many people have heard of any of these? I'm sad for you all. Why? <laughs> because they were abominations. 